I would like to show you how to play chord progressions. Uh, it's very useful when you play songs and I will start with this one very simple. It has four different chords, one chord in each measure. So the first chord is F A C notes. So it's F chord. The next chord will be C chord. And then the next will be G. And then it will be A. These are the chords that I used. Now, the way we use them, we're going to use them with the left hand. The right hand, uh, the left hand plays just the root note of each chord. So it's going to be F, A, C, G, A. If you look at the notes, I wrote it right, right there. F, I'm sorry, F, C, G, and A. On every one note in the left hand, I'm playing two in the right hand. So this is the first measure. left measure and the next measure left hand goes to C down and in the right hand I'm playing the C chord but in first inversion instead of the chord C chord in the root position I'm moving it this way the E G C then the next chord the left hand goes to G and the right hand is the second inversion of the G chord, D, G, B. And then we will move up to the last chord, A chord. Left hand is on A and the right hand on is on the second inversion of the A chord. So instead of this chord, it goes to this chord. So let me play how it sounds together and then I'll go over the chord separately again. F. That goes to C, then goes up to G and A. So again, the left, the um, I wrote down the, the root note of each chord, and I wrote now down the step because F is the fourth step in the uh, C major. C is the first step. C, then G is the fifth step. The chord is on the fifth step, and then A is the sixth step. So the right hand, again, moves like that. First F chord two times, then C stays. These two notes go down to E, G, C. It becomes the C chord, first inversion. Then G stays, C goes to B, and E goes to D. It becomes the G chord, second inversion. And then it goes all up, one step up to A minor chord. Now, it sounds, after you learn it for some time, you might add something to, you know, make it sound more lively. So, you can add two notes in the left. One more time. you work on it for a long time I'm gonna show you the next trick how you make it even more interesting um, first I'm gonna do it here so left hand you're gonna change the beat the rhythm instead of playing one half note you're gonna play Again, the left hand, this first you're playing dotted quarter note. So you need to practice it for a while. And after that, I'm going to show you the next step, how I make it even more interesting. Because you can add uh, more notes in the left hand, for example, like that. So we'll start working on it next time, but first I want you to go um, to the left hand. And 
right hand the chords 